best places in California. If you guys have visited California and forgot to visit these places, then you wasted your time. In this video, we will discuss about the best places in California so that you could not forget to visit these places next time. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel to never miss out on any of our videos. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Sand Harbor Lake Tahoe Sand Harbor Lake Tahoe is the best place to visit in California. The largest alpine lake in North America, Lake Tahoe is a cobalt blue lake atop the Sierra Nevada mountain range. On its eastern shores, gently sloping beaches, crystal clear water, and interesting rock formations allow for wonderfully sublime swimming, kayaking, and scuba diving at Sand Harbor. Boaters, water skiers, and fishermen can easily launch from one of the park's two ramps. Visitors who would like a peaceful retreat from surf and sun can picnic in the shade of cedars and Jeffrey pines in one of many picnic sites equipped with barbecues and tables. The park also hosts the Lake Tahoe Shakespeare Festival every summer. South Yuba River State Park This 20-mile portion of the South Yuba River Canyon stretches from Malakoff Diggins State Historic Park to Bridgeport Covered Bridge. The area includes the longest single-span covered bridge in the world, the steep, rugged canyon of the South Yuba River, and the Independence Trail, the first identified wheelchair-accessible wilderness trail in the country. South Yuba River State Park offers many scenic vistas. Visitors can view swift-moving water carving the granitic canyon that is peppered with seasonal native blooms in springtime and experience refreshing swimming holes that dot the 20-mile length of the Yuba River in late summer. Along the length of the park, visitors can see several architecturally different bridges spanning from the Gold Rush era to the mid-20th century. God's Bath Explore this 1.4-kilometer out-and-back trail near Long Barn, California. Generally considered a challenging route, it takes an average of 23 minutes to complete. This is a popular trail for hiking, but you can still enjoy some solitude during quieter times of day. The trail is open year-round and is beautiful to visit any time. Emerald Pools The South Fork of the Yuba River is known for its picturesque pools of emerald-hued water pouring over age-worn granite boulders in a forested valley with few roads. One of the more dramatic stretches of the river can be found at an area known as Emerald Pools, which lies just below Lake Spalding. With a trail accessing the area's slot canyons, waterfalls, and pools, this portion of the South Yuba is a popular hiking trail that also serves as a swimming hole destination during the warmer months. Depending on the flow of water being released from the reservoir dam just two miles upriver at the base of Lake Spalding, the size and intensity of the waterfalls at Emerald Pools can vary greatly, from a roaring and vertigo-inducing flood during the spring to a shallow trickle late in the summer. Yosemite Waterfalls At a height of more than 2,425 feet, Yosemite Falls is one of the tallest waterfalls in North America. It flows approximately November through July, with peak flow in May. Look for the ice cone at the base of the upper falls during winter and for roaring runoff April through June. Yosemite Falls is actually made up of three separate falls. Upper Yosemite Falls at 1,430 feet, the Middle Cascades at 675 feet, and Lower Yosemite Falls at 320 feet. You can see Yosemite Falls from numerous places around Yosemite Valley, especially around Yosemite Village and Yosemite Valley Lodge. Santa Cruz It lies just to the south of San Jose in San Francisco. Known for its beautiful beach boardwalk and counterculture scene, the city is a very pleasant place to spend some time, with lots of incredible scenery nearby. Life in Surf City revolves around its beaches and boardwalk, which attracts everyone from families and students to hippies, surfers, and street performers. As such, there is a very youthful and bohemian feel about town, with water sports such as paddleboarding, sailing, and surfing to be enjoyed. Besides its wonderful waterfront, Santa Cruz also has a fun and lively downtown home to a plethora of great restaurants, shops, and bars. In addition, the nearby Natural Bridges State Beach and Big Basin Redwood State Park are both well worth visiting for their lovely nature trails and spectacular scenery. Mono Lake Mono Lake is ancient, yet just as enticing as ever. It is a saline body of water that doesn't hold any fish due to its salt content. 
but alkali flies and brine shrimp enjoy the habitat significantly. The entire location looks otherworldly thanks to numerous tufa rock formations, making it easy to see why this is one of the most awesome locations in California for a trip. You can explore the region with a walking tour, a kayak tour, and other similar expeditions. It's located on one of the Sierra Mountain slopes and isn't that far from Yosemite, so it's a great stop along your travels. Death Valley Death Valley is a bit of a downer of a name, but there's a reason this is one of the most sought-after tourist attractions in California. Its landscape holds nothing back in providing an entrancing and stunning appearance, with rolling hills illuminating under the burning sun in the hottest place in the country. There are a large number of unique and interesting spots in Death Valley. The most famed is Zabriskie Point, which allows you to overlook Badwater Basin, the lowest point in the whole nation, while keeping your eyes on the rising Panamint Mountains that loom up ahead. There's also the Mesquite Sand Dunes, which provide fascinating geological terrain to explore. Laguna Beach Laguna Beach is an absolutely breathtaking location. This small town is the quintessential California experience, packed with splendid beaches of all kinds, ranging from large to small and from quiet to populated. Crescent Bay and Main Beach are some of the most renowned for their beauty, but it's not just beaches that visitors can enjoy in this region. Head to Crystal Cove State Park for a more untamed glimpse of the shore, or visit Heisler Park to spot exquisite wildflowers, trees, and other forms of flora. If you're going to the state, you just can't miss this location. Ancient Bristlecone Pine Forest The ancient Bristlecone Pine Forest houses outstandingly old flora, some of the oldest in the world, not just in California. The USDA states that some of these bristlecone pines are more than 4,000 years of age. Among these phenomenal wonders of nature, you'll also find the Patriarch Tree, the largest of all trees of its kind on the planet. Enjoy a picnic, a hike, or just a little excursion surrounded by some of the best flora you'll ever see. Glory Hole This amusingly named location may have a fun odd sound to it, but it's an incredibly beautiful spot that you just have to see. It is a part of Lake Berryessa, a reservoir located in Napa County, where it formed due to the Monticello Dam's construction. The recent drought in California has caused some issues, but you can still easily see this alien-looking spillway that trains downwards in a majestic and terrifying whirlpool to the deep, dark depths of the water. Make sure you keep your distance and just admire it from afar. Ojai Ojai is a beautiful little town that is laid back, relaxed, and rustic, perfect for a calmer California vacation. It houses quaint shops, inns, hotels, and vineyards, and there's a farmer's market as well as fresh, interesting foods to try out. Go hiking to the valley to see all that there is to see or ride a bike west to go towards the beach where you can enjoy a serene day of sun and surf. Don't forget to watch the sunset glowing pink as it illuminates the mountains. Bowling Ball Beach Bowling Ball Beach is one of those standout points of interest in California that is unlike anything you've ever seen before. Located on Schooner Gulch State Beach, this nice stretch of coast is completely naturally filled with spherical rocks made from sandstone after years and years of erosion. You can see the full majesty of these balls during low tide, and you only need a short walk to get there. To exercise caution though, as erosion continues and may cause some cliff areas to be unstable. That was all about the best places in California. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button. We'll see you again on our channel.